meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality. Hello, Aries. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below. If you need to get in contact with me, go ahead and schedule your uh, complimentary discovery call. Uh, the link is below. And if you want to uh, be around like-minded individuals each and every month, go ahead and sign up for the KTMG a monthly conference call the link is below also okay um and i want to say shout out to uh london houston atlanta philadelphia dallas florida new york la and chicago okay those places have high viewership so shout out to you guys thank you for being here all right let's see what is going on for aries what's happening for aries what is happening for my aries what is going on for Aries? It's like papers thrown up in the air. Okay, so what's going on? The Knight of Pentacles working really hard. The lovers could be partnered with. This could be a job. This could be working hard for yourself. Also, somebody wants to partner with you. Um, I heard come in as a silent partner. Maybe uh, flush some more money into your business. Um, slow and steady is winning the race here. Some of you are concerned about what you got yourself involved in. You could be a little discontent, bored with, um, just not happy with where you are in regards to work, um, needing to inject some fun into whatever it is you're doing. You're really looking over things, crossing the T's, dotting the I's. I don't know if your um, type of work takes a lot of attention to detail. It could have something to do with people, okay? There could also be a relationship here where you've been in for a very long time and it's kind of boring. It's getting a little bored, boring. You're getting tired of waiting. It looks like there's an energy where somebody has you in and out or they're in and out. And they have you waiting. As they leave, you wait. When they come back, you're in a good place. This person could be looking at you as someone um, to have fun with, uh, a healthy release, an escape, okay? Somebody could already be coupled, married somewhere else. Um, this person could look at you as a soulmate. It's fun. It's innocent with you or you're younger or, um, there's like a youthful vibe about you or this is what you're doing, Aries. You're engaged in something, you know, outside of your established relationship. There's also somebody who could have come in between a, an established relationship because it had grown boring, cold, stale, stagnant, someone stubborn. Someone that won't move, also make a move here. Let's see what the advice is for you, Aries. What is the advice for Aries? You could travel for work, okay? With the Knight of Pentacles here. Uh, you're, you're mitigating, you're getting in between. I don't know what type of work you do. I don't know, like mitigate circumstances, situations, or you're the liaison, you're the go-between. Uh, let's see, let's see. And that could be at work too. Though 
The advice is the two of pentacles. It's a lot going on. It's a lot still up in the air. To say that, especially, that expression is to say that someone hasn't decided. Someone is still juggling with weighing the pros and the cons, looking over, trying to reconcile if they could do, if they could move this or move that. Or There could be a lot going on with you. There could be a lot of transferring money and trying to get back to a solid foundational place also. There, there is a lot of work going in, on here. You could be uh, starting a new career or you started a new job or there's something new here like a life alteration, you could have to have taken a step down or a step back or um, something of that nature or um, whatever you're doing is, is starting slow, but it looks like there's a lot of potential for growth. There's also a guardian angel, guardian angel here guarding what you are um, establishing. Um, this is hard work, but it will, you know, be repaid. Um, stay devoted, committed to. Somebody is devoted, committed to having like some secret affair, some secret rela relationship. When I travel for work or I travel to you, I'm going to see you and we're going to do what we do. And then when I'm gone, I'm gone. You know, uh, the two of pentacles, there could be somebody trying to do two different things at the same time. That is the advice here. They want you to know that with the two of pentacles, there's somebody trying to maintain two different things. It may seem stressful for those looking in from the outside, but this person has, has a handle on it. You know, um, a rhythm here. They've got a rhythm to life. They're also keeping up airs because they know that people are watching, you know, um, this is the juggler on stage. Got to keep those balls up in the air because they know that people are watching. You may have, um, being kind of like micromanaged at work, or you know that you're being watched or, um, maybe you're watching other people at your job or at your work or at your business. Um, you don't want so I heard stealing, you want someone stealing from you or they don't want someone stealing from them. There's also, you know, in terms of romantic, there's somebody that's just keeping everything up in the air. They have not decided. Um, they're, they're okay with going backwards and forward. They're okay with going in between, you know, um, they're okay with sneaking and hiding and making it work here. Um, Somebody's coming into an awareness that a decision has to be made, though, eventually. You can't keep this up for too long. What is the outcome here in regards to the situation with uh, Aries? Looks like you got a lot going on, Aries. What is the outcome? What is the outcome for Aries? Let's see. Okay, this one will come in reverse, the fool in reverse. Uh, I don't think you're going to take the leap of faith, follow your heart, risky behavior. You're not going to be anyone's fool any longer. Um, you're not going to continue to engage in something where you don't know where it's going. Someone hasn't given you an end date or an end result. What is the fool in reverse? What is the fool in reverse for Aries? That's kind of Aries Aquarius. Yeah. Four of wands. Okay. Um, successful completion of a project. This is reunion, coming back together. Maybe you're not going to have the reunion or come back to this person. You're not going to be this person's roundabout. You know, when they go over here and they stay over there for a while, then they roundabout back to you. Um, it's not happening for you. You're done with that. There's also, um, you're coming out of the full, hold on, the full in reverse. Something is being made real. This is not a pipe dream anymore for some of you especially with this hard work, this dedication, and this life alteration. It looks like you get to a place of um, acceptance, maybe accepting it for yourself. There's a lot of work that was done or being done. It looks like you get to a place of enjoying the fruits of your labor, maybe wanting to take yourself out, high esteem of self at this time with the four of wands. It's like you, you, completely, you successfully complete something, okay? Uh, I don't know if this is your own business. This could be a new home. This could be a contract. Yeah, you actually move. Um, you're coming out of, you know, being in limbo. This is, it looks really good. Wow, six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Definitely, um, you know, promotion, getting it done. Um, choosing to have victory. Um, this is Jupiter. This could, so this is luck expansion. Something expands for you. This could be like a successful beyond what you thought it would be with this four of wands and the six of wands here. 
Um, this is a lot of, this is busyness also. You didn't think something was going to be so successful. It could even be stressful at this time it, or it was stressful. This could be a move, decoration, home move, contract, landing the big contract. Some of you are going to land the big contract in which you come out of it being some like pipe dream or what people were thinking about you or what you were thinking about for yourself. You come out of that because it's like, damn, I got this big ass contract right here or I got this new job or I got this new house or whatever it may be. Um, it's, it's being made real. You're going to feel very victorious. Okay. Um, it could even be public promotion. It could be a fame or fortune. It could be money being pushed into a, an existing business, help in business. Yep. Success and help in business. All right. This looks really good. Uh, Aries, that is your card here. The four of wands, um, so third deacon Aries you can look that up. Um, so something is definitely ending and it's going to be made real uh, stability. If you feel like you resonated with this reading, you can always tell me how you resonated with this reading. Are you getting a new house? Have you started a new job? Have you started a new business? Uh, have things been up in the air for a while and then you land that contract or you're hoping and wishing that it comes for you? Um, let me know down in the comments section. If you feel like you took something from the reading, you could give back. You could buy me a coffee. Yeah, the link is below. If you're feeling moved to do so, catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you. Take care. Many blessings to you.